Dateline, Saqqara. Bushel upon bushel of tender stalks of Egyptian wheat sit on the docks, ready to be sent to Atlantis. Atlanteans have the all-powerful King Atlon to thank for this bounty. Escorted by a fleet of mighty frigates, our king journeyed down the Nile to meet with the Egyptians. Together, they discussed all the benefits that the Egyptians have already reaped from their relationship with Atlantis. Noting their error in judgment, the Egyptians quickly revised their exportation policies and agreed to turn over their surpluses of wheat at a most reasonable price. In a gesture of goodwill, King Atlon promised the Egyptians that Atlantis would continue to sell its finest goods to them. With the influx of Egyptian supplies, life in Atlantis is slowly beginning to return to normal. Still, some goods are scarce, and the cities of the Ten Kingdoms are turning to Cleitos to provide for them. Meanwhile, in the dangerous waters of the Mediterranean Sea, vile Carthaginians have boarded yet another Atlantean trade ship. Roughly tossing aside our brave merchants, the Carthaginians have seized cargo, stealing food from the mouths of Atlantean babes. The plague has been hard on the people of Carthage, and they have reverted to their old barbaric ways. The other cities in Phoenicia refuse to call a halt to Carthage's insolent behavior, and have mounted an insurrection of their own, increasing the selling prices of their goods to astronomical heights. The king has asked his capable and daring eldest child, the ruler of Cleitos, to address the Phoenician issue. The treacherous Mediterranean is offering even more trouble. The peoples around the Aegean, who have not seen the wisdom of Atlantean ways, are stirring, and seem to be contemplating aggression towards Atlantis as well. Though mighty Atlantis has little to fear from the primitive Greeks, centaurs, and Amazons, King Atlon himself is casting a wary eye towards them, and may personally step in to stop this latest threat to Atlantean well-being. I certainly hope so, because there's no way we can afford to pay people off. Ruling Carthage is going to be a problem. For one very big reason. They are the only people we are getting fleece from. This is huge. We have no way to get fleece until we conquer them. I cannot conquer them until I get some armor. Importing armor, or rather just the bronze, so that I can make the armor, is going to be exceedingly expensive. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I really do not. I am screwed. I have no one to sell anything to to make money. This is a huge problem. Okay, let's no longer do this, and let's take that crap out of there. Um, I don't want to get it down there yet, but temporarily... I'm going to open this up to take more, so hopefully this will pull these four out of there. And I want to get those two wine. Hopefully that'll pull it out of there. And these assholes won't. Actually, I can just ensure that we don't get any extra wine by turning them down. Turning them off, rather. Transport those to safety, please. Trans transport this to safety, please. Well, good, good for you. Mem oh, oh, oh! Wait, 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 wait. Memphis sells olives, and they are loyal. It's just not you guys. It's, um. It was you guys. Oh, fantastic. That's great. I mean, first of all, look at the savings. The savings is going to be outrageous here. By buying olives and making this stuff myself, I will be helping myself out immensely. Okay. I mean, th the cost of building this and the cost of keeping these people might actually balance that out, but um, let's ensure that my... Oh, it's just one... Well, actually, no. Every little thing of fleece matters. Every little bit. Okay, so we're only getting four there. This is kind of a problem, though, because I need to build more. To get these 120 people in a mansion, I'm going to have to build four more. Now the question is, do I want to do that? Do I want to do that first, or do I want to do that later? If I build that now, I will have that much more army to send. 
which is kind of a big deal. Can I build the Ares? I cannot. Okay. We're going to have to expand the elite housing and then begin a very, very expensive campaign of buying bronze. Now, let's see this Sakara. They only sell the bronze. Uh, that's no big deal. No, no different than them. Um, I wish I had... Oh, I do have Atlantis. Good. Uh, maybe I'll ask them or buy... No, buying would be way too expensive. But if I got some Oracalc into these ships, that would help as well. Um, okay, so we need to do this quickly before we run out of fleece. I have got 24. I've got 24 total. So obviously I'm not going to be taking care of this 2,000 people. As it is, I may end up just destroying houses I don't need. Um, I'm going to have to employ them in this anyway. Okay, so that takes care of that. I can afford, it looks like. I can get rid of that. I don't need the wood right now. Yeah, I can get rid of those two wood shops. We don't need them yet. Well, wait a minute. No, th this is secondary. I don't need that. Okay. Let's turn off the wood. Actually, to be honest, most of this is superfluous because I can easily fill that up. What is this? This has got three marble. I could shift that over here, delete that. I could turn this off. I could do a whole bunch of things to, to shrink my workforce needs. Destroy houses until I have the population, because excess population still takes up resources. And I am scared to death of how this is going to work. So, I'm going to set up my next housing block and do some drastic remanagement of my workforces. So I just got this message that, <laughs> how about I don't slur? Sakara is now buying armor, which gives me sort of a way out. They also now are selling me a lot of bronze. So the way I can sort of turn around my financial difficulties is not only by making armor for myself, but by now turning around and just selling it back to the Egyptians. Um, okay, so we're going to get rid of you. And instead, I'm going to take a pier to Sakara. I'm going to begin buying bronze from them. Perhaps not so much. Let's go down to the 12, and let's... Well, I can't. I can't do that, so I'm going to have to buy more than I'm turning around. Or more than I'm selling so that I can turn around enough to give to myself. Um, actually, let's see, if I buy four, or sell four and buy eight, that's making enough. I mean, that that's equal. But I need to make more for myself. So twelve, and I'll turn it off here. Okay. It's gonna cost me a lot of money since I'm only accepting eight down here, and I'm already out of fleece, which is miserable. And we got to do this quickly. Now, these mansions only produce two people. So I'm going to... I mean, that's good on the one hand because I need less armor, but I'm definitely going to need this extra area. And I've already purged the housing areas out of that... Um, to, to cut down on employees and, and such. And now that I'm going to need them again, um, I mean, the thing is, they already had a store of fleece in them, you know, sitting there. And uh, now when I put those houses back, they're going to eat that up. So that was short-sighted of me. Yeah, I admit it. It was a terrible choice. Uh, not only that, but I knocked out about a thousand drachma out of my tax collection as well, because I'm getting about, well, I guess exactly 97 
drachma per house, or 160. Oh wow! Well, that was that was a horrific, horrific mistake on my part. I wish I hadn't done that. It's too late. Okay. Well, as this um, draws to a close, I guess I will keep you updated. Oh, yeah, now that I'm buying all this crap, I can also expand this uh, to take care of it all, which is sort of the point. They need to be turning it around so that they're actually selling it. And I'm glad to see that we actually managed to sell it. Oh, this is a huge mess. I, I d can't believe I did this. I didn't think. I just sort of took that shovel and made a mistake, a huge mistake. Although I might not need that, actually, come to think of it. 27 people. I am taxing a little bit highly right now. I have full granaries, so... You know, I'll need some population to get these buildings up here. Let's put these in right now. See how much it takes. I should have done this to begin with. Let's do the science buildings first. Uh, laboratory. Let me come down here and just see what I did. Right. Laboratory right up against it. Right there. Bibliotech. And it's not what I want at all. Um, the observatory. Okay, 16, that's not so bad. I can rearrange... Um, shit. I still need to use... Okay, I'm gonna have to delete that armor stall as soon as everyone has their armor, so that they're not buying it and stockpiling it. So that I can have it be bought over here. Let's go ahead and just put one of these. No, that's dumb. I need employees. Okay, I'm going to have to build a few more houses to get the people to come back. And that's going to use our very, very quickly dwindling resources. Um, it looks like I can actually turn around some of this a little bit faster. Let's turn this down because it appears I'm buying way too much. Okay. Well, Hopefully, we can do this before Carthage gets another shield, so we can at least have a fighting chance. I do have three frigates, though, so that's something. I will... I mean, at, at that point... At that point, I'm gonna have to get these 300 people back, because I turned them off when I knocked out all those people. So... Anticipating that I'm gonna need them back, maybe I should just put them in now before this runs out. Because if that runs out, then I have no way of getting the people that I need to employ. I, I made a mess for myself. I really fucked up nice. That was good. That was good. Okay, well, see you when disaster strikes. Okay. Drastic times are upon us. I only have eight fleece. I don't have enough to give down here for a new housing block. So I'm going to have to go into battle with only two companies of hoplites, or spearmen, rather, I guess, is what they are in this one. Um, so, in order to make enough employees, I'm going to have to turn off some major industries, such as the armor and the vital black marble. I do have a lot of money right now because I was turning around that armor. So, keeping only my vital industries open, I'm still 40 people short. Let's see what manning all these things do. Still need 40 people, yeah. Um, but where do I take them from? I don't have enough olive oil that I can risk turning that off right now. And everything else is far too vital for me to do it. Forty people would be one more of these houses. But that's not necessarily guaranteeing they would be employees. So... 
we will be turning these off, which is what I should have been doing the whole time. Zero people, good. Okay. We... We are ready. Preemptive strike against Carthage. Fortunately for me, I can at least enlist some of my allies. Oh, shit. I just remembered. I had sent a request for Oracalc to Atlantis. They had yet to get that back to me. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait and try and get that because it would give us a huge advantage. I'll wait one more month. If Atlantis doesn't respond, we'll go. 24. Thank you, thank you. I should not have put this down here. I should have had it been gathered up. Up there. Uh, no one was taking it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. We gotta make this quick. Uh, you. Um, empty that. And get some oracle up here. Pronto. Then I will use this one to get that wine. We gotta do this quick, people. We got one going up there. Good. It'll take him the rest of the month to get up here. But hopefully once he's up here, that'll be enough that I can put these people in place. Good for you, Sakara. What are the God? Thank you, you, Poseidon. God damn clicking. Okay. Is he taking it to uh, where it needs to be taken? We don't need to accept anymore if that's the case. Let's watch him. Yes. Okay, good. Now, how many loads? It should only be one load. I believe I could be wrong. Actually, you know what? I will I will leave this as an acceptance just in case. But we no longer need to be emptying. That is completely unnecessary at this point. Oh wow, wow, damn. Took three loads. Oh no, it looks like they both took okay. So is this one for me? That took way more than a month. Carthage still only has the one shield. Bam. Good. We got fire. Time to go conquer. Everybody. And I hope this works. Who is, who is better? Uh, they're both the same. Syracuse and... Oh, I've got Memphis and Saqqara? Well, let's take Memphis. They've got two shields. So we will enlist Memphis. Oh, I hope this works. Otherwise, I'll have to go back to the beginning and redo the original mission. Anticipating this one. Uh, I was hoping they'd have something funny to say. Okay, we no longer. Oops, 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 oops. We uh, we don't actually want this. It's not like you guys were doing anything today anyway. Keeping you busy. Uh, were these guys... Oh, yeah. My spear is at the ready, but there is no enemy. Maybe there's some other spear carrier who could use this spear. Maybe. Why? Why? Why have you shut... Oh, because I shut down the industry. Durr. How much fleece do you guys have? It's gonna be tight. Going to be tight. But if this succeeds, we can probably stop buying that many, don't you think? Fortunately for me, I do have money. Our last four fleece. God, this better work. And they only had one shield, right? Yes. Okay, 
Well, that... that helps. Really? Well, I guess, um... That's not so bad, actually, all things considered. Uh, tribute in bronze. What was this other message? Syracuse paid in marble, which I had no room for. Memphis was in wheat. Saqqara, marble, gnosis, meat. That rhymed. Memphis, wheat. Okay, well, we're getting bronze from Carthage. That should be enough that um, I can sort of use that to trickle in. Uh, just enough armor. Since I won't be selling the armor to these guys, and I have a feeling this little guy here is attached to this when I get rid of him. That very expensive piece of bronze is going away. But, uh, we can get rid of this, put Carthage back, I can begin importing bronze, destroy some of these once they're empty. So I can just have that trickle in and slowly build up. And then I'll be able to begin importing fleece again and I can get the uh, housing, and then I can turn on my people, get my 2,000, I can begin work on this, well, finish Atlas's temple, so I can begin this pyramid, which is how big? Not big at all. Okay, see ya in a bit. Actually, no. I'm gonna end this one here. I'm gonna have to cut this one in half. It's already 20 minutes of just getting through this. Ridiculous. Now you know what the end missions are like. So, I'll see you in the next video.